Well, KITV4's meteorologist Cam Tran has been on the Big Island all day today. She's joining us live now from Hilo, where Hurricane Isel is now making that grand entrance. So, what's the weather conditions there like at this hour, Cam? Hey there, we're a lot near Hilo Harbor where the weather conditions have gone downhill fast. We've noticed two major differences since the last time we've gone live. One are the winds. We're starting to feel some of those tropical storm force winds out here. I'm going to step out of the shot and show you the other thing we've seen is some large surf. Uh, this, this is a live look at some of the surf that's rolling in right now. Some of it's even strong enough that it makes it over to the breakers. We've got some uh, six to ten motors easily out here and coincide that with the high tide this afternoon right around 2.30. And you've definitely noticed the ocean change in the last several hours. Again, very windy. Even though we're not expecting the hurricane to make landfall until later on tonight, the hurricane force winds do extend well far out of the center. Because of some of these strong winds, we already are noticing some power outages, especially in the Puna district, the areas being hit the hardest right now. We just got word from Helco that about 3,400 customers in the Puna district are without power this evening. Being, they've been inundated with those heavy winds and also heavy rain throughout the day. But we want to show you some of the video that we did shoot earlier. This is a look at Honolulu Beach, a really popular surf spot here in Hilo, where you could definitely see some overhead sets pounding the shoreline. Also, many businesses along the Hilo storefront put sandbags to cover up their businesses, and they also boarded up as well, hoping that the storm surge will not affect their livelihoods there. Also, two Hilo hotels that we know of closed today and sent their guests to evacuation shelters. The first one is Uncle Billy's. They sent about 80 guests to nearby shelters, uh, Waiakea High School and also Hilo High School. They also, uh, there was also the closure of Hilo Seaside. They are in a very low-lying area, and when that high tide came, along with all the surge in surf, they decided, you know what, it's best to send those folks elsewhere. And even to this afternoon, some guests had to learn the hard truth the difficult way.